Mr. Tessman? No. Mr. Wysocki? No. Ms. Hoffman? No. Ms. Doran? Aye. Mr. Fleming? Yes. Mr. Grimm? Mr. Yes, Mr. Grimm. I'd like to say one more time that no matter this resolution does it attack our local law enforcement. And what we're doing is the resolution, the result of this um, amended resolution as well as the first resolution asking to help our law enforcement. Thank you, yes. Mr. I'm sorry, Mr. Grimm, what was your? Yes. Ms. Weaver? No. Mr. Burns? Ms. Sullivan Tita? No. Chairman Stammel? No. On the amendment, there are three in favor and 16 no's. On the resolution? The amendment does not carry. The resolution will move forward as printed. At this particular time, I'd like to have the clerk read into the record the, the resolution on file. Since there's been so much controversy about it, and the public needs to know why, what brought us here. Mr. Chairman, if I may, I would like to ask as a sponsor to withdraw this resolution. Uh, there's a motion to, well, uh, I. Past practice has been on motions it, to yes. withdraw the resolution once it hits the floor. The chairman has to agree to it, or we do a vote here to allow withdrawal. I also have the motion to withdraw. There's a motion to withdraw. I had, I declined, but uh, if you'd like to bring it to the floor, I'll bring it to the floor for a vote. Would you like a, a roll call vote on the uh, motion to withdraw? I don't need the uh, decision of the chairman is accepted. We are ready to move forward on the underlying resolution. Thank you, Mr. Krim. Uh, clerk, will please read the record. Read this resolution into the record. Resolution number P27620, resolution in support of the Black Lives Matter movement, calling for racial justice for black people and people of color. Whereas the killing of George Floyd and countless other black people have forced our nation's attention on continuing the structural and system systematic racism that is evident in law enforcement and the justice system. And whereas black people and all historically marginalized people of color are disproportionately criminalized and targeted by excessive force and brutality by law enforcement. And whereas the Rensselaer County Legislature is outraged by these injustices in law enforcement that unfairly target black people and all people of color. And the Rensselaer County, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Whereas the Black Lives Matter movement has accentuated the current crisis, which is a, a result of the well-established racism and socioeconomic inequalities that have been marginalized, discriminated against, and harmed black people and all people of color. Education, housing, employment, health care, and other aspects of American life have been impacted. and. <clears throat> The Rensselaer County Legislature acknowledges painfully that America is a nation founded on racism. We must end white privilege and the myth of white supremacy if we are to become the nation we pledge to be. And the Rensselaer County Legislature believes in individual liberties, civil, Chairman, civil rights. So moved. No, I no. I, excuse the clerk. No. But in my, in my tenure here in the legislature, uh, never has a resolution been read on the floor. I would like to know what the reasoning is of this and how um, Okay, I tried to explain that in the beginning, and please don't interrupt again. Uh, there's been so much discussion in, in, uh, in regards to this resolution and misinformation that's been out about the resolution. I think we're calling it into the record. Everybody here and anybody listening knows exactly why we're doing what we're doing. Please continue. I'll restart that whereas. The Rensselaer County Legislature believes in individual liberty, civil rights, human rights, and voting rights. We defend democracy and oppose all threats to the constitutional rights. Now, therefore, be it that the Rensselaer County Legislature advocates against systematic racism in the justice system and at a minimum for preventing excessive force and brutality by law enforcement. We also call for the prompt actions by all legislative members to advocate within every level of government to eradicate systematic racism 
and the harm that it causes, uh, and that we demand solutions for the terrible wrong, wrongs done, so that regardless of race, ethnicity, religion, disability, and gender identity, or sexual orientation, we may truly become a nation indivisible with liberty justice for all. Be it further resolved that the clerk of the legislature transmit a copy of this resolution suitably engrossed to Senators Charles Schumer and Kristen Gillibrand, Congressman Paul Tonka and Antonio Delgado, New York State Senators Neil Breslin, Daphne Jordan, Assembly Members John McDonald and Jacob Ashby, and Governor Andrew Cuomo. I ask for roll call. Mr. Chairman, if I may I apologize for that. Okay. On a question? Roll call vote is good. Call for call. Please, uh, please state your questions when we come around for the vote, okay? Mr. Bailey? No. Mr. Bendette? No. Mr. Casal? Mr. Fiacco? No. Mr. Grant? No. Mr. Harrington? Nay. Mr. Loveridge? No. Mr. Petiri? No. Mr. Peter? I would just say there are things in here we all can agree with. <laughs> and opposition to the resolution as a whole does not mean opposition to contents of. I think there's a building point that we can work from and next month I hope to have something on the floor that all sides can agree on and we can send a unanimous message out to the people of our county but this resolution with the language in it that is also included with those good points I cannot support no Mr. Tessman no Mr. Wysocki no Ms. Hoffman no Ms. Doran Yes, please, Ms. Green. What I'd like to say is um, we did work hard to bring in all the points that Mr. Peter just commented on in the amendment, which was not read to the public. And if the public is interested in the amendment, uh, they can contact our office. The amendment had adjustments based on our conversations with the community. Um, I am voting. In the positive, aye for this resolution. Mr. Fleming. Yes, sir, Mr. Fleming. <laughs> yes, uh, 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 that the uh, amendments uh, reflect more of my true feelings. However, in substance, there is a language in this that I don't agree with, but in substance, I agree with this resolution, and I uh, vote well, yes. Mr. Grimm? Yes. Ms. Weaver? No. Mr. Burns? No. Ms. Olivantita? No. Chairman Stammel? I, I would just state that in closing of this resolution that uh, yes, there is some substance in there we could probably all agree with. It's, but uh, when we talk about going out to the public and speaking to them, that should have been done prior to the submission of the resolution rather than after. That would have saved us all a lot, a lot of arguments here, a lot of concern. With that, I vote no. Thank you. This resolution was defeated 16-3. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion made by Mr. Harrington, seconded. Mr. Loveridge, all in favor? Aye. So moved. Aye. What? I got to go to the back. Um, <laughs> I'm going to kill him. Thank you. <laughs> Good night, Kelly. Thank you. I'm
Billy Barton. See you around, Barton.